Hi guys, Richard Felix here, the ghost man. The ghost man? Yeah, well, that's what that's what I get called all the time. Have been for years. Um, I suppose it's to do with the fact that uh, I've been doing ghost events from night vigils to dining with the dead, dinners, ghost walks, tours, God knows how many different television programs. Yeah, yeah. I suppose I am the ghost man, but I believe that I'm a slightly different ghost man to a lot of other ghost men and women that are out there. One or two things. First of all, you guys have been watching um, all the videos that I've been putting on, um, which I'm thrilled to bits with 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 your comments uh, about them. But the only thing I must say, guys, is that do remember they're very old bit like me. Uh, I mean, some of them are well over 20 years old. And yeah, there is sometimes problems with, with the sound, the, the music being a bit loud and various things. But bear with me, guys, because trust me, there's an awful lot more to come um, in the very near future. Um, but what I want to do is to try and put one or two things into context as regards this ghost business. And number one, first thing of all, what does the word ghost mean? I mean, when I wrote the book uh, called What is a Ghost? I actually didn't know what the word ghost meant. Um, but me being the sort of person I am, I need to go deep into it and I need to I need to find out what what it's all about. Um, it's the same with with all this, the ghost stuff I do. Um, when I started, and I'm going back an awful long time ago, well over 30 years ago now, um, I decided to, to, to do a ghost walk because uh, I, I I ran a heritage centre in Derby in an old Tudor grammar school that, that got a ghost in it. So I thought, and I was chairman of Derby Tourism at the time, so I thought, what can we do to bring people to Derby? Well, York do ghost walks. So I, I organised, started a ghost walk, did one, hated it, didn't like it, couldn't believe it. And I thought, if I'm going to do this, I need to believe in what I'm talking about. And I need to, to know more about the whole ghost business. So I didn't do any more ghost walks for at least eight, nine months until I knew more about it. And I did an awful lot of research into it and realised then that I could then do something that I believed in. And of course, the big one for me, you must remember this, is that I'm, I'm a huge believer that ghosts and history go together. And what I'm really interested in is the history that created the ghost, because that makes it so much more interesting and so much more fascinating. So anyway ghost what's it mean well if you go to the oxford english dictionary it says that it's the disembodied spirit or soul of a dead person that's seen by the living uh -uh. sorry guys absolutely not is the word ghost a noun or a verb What's a verb? Well, a verb's a doing word. Um, I'm frightened. Okay. So anyway, the word ghost comes from a primitive Indo-European word. Oh, thousands of years old. Goiz. Or goiz does. G H. O I S Goise. What does it mean? To be frightened of. Anything that walks through the wall, footsteps going up the stairs and along the landing, but you can't see anybody. An old lady stood at the foot of the bed, a Roman soldier, legless Roman soldier walking through the wall, bumps, taps, raps, knocks electrical equipment being affected, computers, phones, 
televisions coming on and off, anything that we don't understand, we're frightened of. And that's where the word gois comes from. It means to be frightened. From that word came the Old English word gast, the Middle English word gost, the German word geist, Flemish word geist, the Viking word geyser. They all come from that word gois and they mean to be frightened of. When William Caxton came over here in the 1400s with his printing press and for the first time all of our words were taken and put into print rather than just being written down by monks, by scribes, he took the Middle English word gost, G-O-S-T, and spelt it with a silent H, which of course is the, the Flemish way of spelling because he was from uh, Belgium, Holland, one of the two, and that's what they use. They, they use a silent H. And we got our ghost. But guys, just wind back a bit to Old English. Gast. G-H-A-S-T. Have you ever been aghast at something? Have you ever seen something ghastly? It's frightening. Guys, we're still in the Middle Ages as regards ghosts. Anything that we don't understand, we're frightened of. And what I want to actually get through to you now is, is, is the fact that they're not there to get us. Uh, the profession of a ghost, if it had one, wouldn't be to get you, wouldn't be to scare you, because they were you and me once. They were, some of them still think they are human beings. And guess what? Most, most human beings are very nice, aren't they? Not all of them. Guys, for one minute, don't think that Hitler's wandering around um, picking daffodils, because he isn't. So there, there is evil. We know that. I know there's evil. But I ask you a question, guys. When did you last meet an evil person? I mean, I mean, no, no, not the boss, not the mother-in-law, an evil person that you were in fear of, terror. Very seldom, to be honest with you, because as I keep saying, most people are very nice. And ghosts were once people. Ghosts were once you and me. So surely that means that most ghosts are, are very nice. Um, and they're there for a reason, but the reason isn't to get you. Of course we're frightened. Obviously we're frightened. We don't understand it. In the same way as we're frightened of aliens. But why should we be? Because at the end of the day, how do we know that aliens are going to get us? Oh, we've seen too much Hollywood. And of course, that is the problem have to say that's the problem with the ghost business because at the end of the day all ghosts have to be scary um, and that's thanks to M.R. James, Edgar Allan Poe, ghost stories. We love ghost stories. We love to be frightened um, and you know if you went to a theme park um, you wouldn't go on the ride that went round and round and round. And. No, you'd go on that one that drops you down at God knows how many thousand feet per second and your heart ends up in your mouth and you're terrified because we love it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with Hollywood TV programmes that are scary because but the problem is that it's created this the wrong effect to do with ghosts because we all think they're scary and they're not. But the daft part about it is for me, why am I preaching this when I've told everybody in the past and still do that I'm frightened of ghosts? Because I've been frightened of ghosts since I was approximately four years of age. I, I used to play with kids that were a lot older than me and they used to terrify me with ghost stories. They used to, we, they, we had a, we didn't, they did, they had a, um, uh, an old rabbit hutch, a big one, and he used to cram us all inside this rabbit hutch. And, and, and 
and tell ghost stories. And they used to tell me that the green ghost was going to get me when I got home. <laughs> it never did, by the way. I was terrified. I, they used to lock me in the garage and I could see myself banging on the door now. Say, I want to go home. I want my mum and dad. Oh, no, your mum and dad are dead. Um, and you're staying here in the dark tonight. I was terrified. Not frightened, terrified. Um, but it stayed with me. I suppose it's the same thing that if you were frightened of, of, of snakes when you were a kid or moths or whatever it happened to be, then I think you'd still be frightened of them uh, when you're an adult. And, and so to a certain extent, ridiculous as it may seem, I still have this fear of ghosts. And yet I'm preaching to the world that they're not there to get you because they're not there to get us. Um, and so there's a very different aspect to the... So what I'm going to be doing, of God knows how, you know, um, I'm preaching a different sort of psalm, for want of a better word, that ghosts are not going to get you, but things will still happen that could be scary because, you know, things make us jump. Um, and so... The whole idea of what I'm going to do on 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 this channel uh, for as long as as long as God allows me to be here is to be doing um, different sort of I think more documentary type of, of of stuff than the scare factor. But trust me, things may still happen because remember remember that Richard Felix is is is, is fright still frightened of ghosts to this to this very day but there's going to be some good stuff coming out um all i want you to do is to bear with me um and watch this space guys because there's an awful lot more to come and i believe that the reality behind ghosts is far more fascinating than the scooby-doo side of ghosts that you get on the telly and on hollywood so as I've said already, keep watching, watch this space, there's more to come. Do sleep well, don't have nightmares. See you soon, guys.